Hey, welcome back to the channel, Cooking with Manual Focus, and today, hey, we're going to be making some collard greens, and you know when you make them collard greens, what's in the bottom of that pot, you got that good pot looking right, but today, we're going to be making these collard greens in 30 minutes, so no longer two, three, four hour wait for collard greens, we're doing this thing in 30 minutes, so follow me with this recipe, come down to the workstation, and let's make this happen. All right, so the key to some good greens, man is you gotta make sure these things are washed, right? You gotta wash the greens, man. So what you see me doing here, you know, get them soaked in that water, and then you wanna add a little bit of salt. And you can use whatever salt that you wanna use. This is just Himalayan salt that I got. And you just wanna put a little bit in there, you know? And then this is gonna take out all the you know, impurities or any insects that's in these greens, and then, you know, you're ready to go, man. And you let these bad boys soak, you know, for about five or 10 minutes, man. Just make sure that they're nice and um, clean. So they may look clean, but you know, you see like that right there, a little bit of dirt still on there. So we're gonna get these things washed up. We're gonna come back and then we're gonna cut these things up. All right, so how I'm doing my collards here, I'm just snapping that stem, but I do want to leave a little bit of that meat right here. But some people, they cut that meat out right, but I'm gonna leave that on there, keep it super simple, super easy, and then just snap that off right. And then you'll see here, you got your collard greens, but this is what I was telling you about. You gotta make sure you wash those greens really good so you can get all that sediment out. And then we're gonna go for a second rinse, make sure these greens are super clean. So in the step here, you just wanna get these greens cut, man. So, you know, Know, we got these things washed what you can do is you know roll these things up and this will save you a bunch of time and then just cut them man cut them in sections cut them how big you want them and then there we go just like that it's gonna make it happen and then you know after you got them cut they ready to go man put them in the bowl until you get them all done and we're gonna continue this step and then we're gonna get the rest of these done, man. All right, so there you have it, man. You got a mountain of greens, right? Look at the color on those bad boys. I love some collard greens, man, when they're done. So next thing next, man, we're gonna go in with a cup of diced onions, right? And then we're gonna hit it with some black pepper. Then we go in there with some red chili flakes. And this is gonna give, you know, those collard greens the bite that you need in it. And then we're gonna hit it with some garlic powder. And then we're gonna come right back and hit it with some garlic onion powder. And this right here, man, we just building a little bit of flavors. And then lastly, right, so we watching our salt. So I'm using some unsalted chicken broth. Now you can use, um, you know, the regular chicken broth if you like, but I just want to kind of get a lighter side of Thanksgiving. And now we're just gonna be packing these greens in here and then just putting a little bit at a time. And the reason why I went with unsalted broth, right, cause I got those smoked turkey um, next right there and those have sodium in itself so here's the key to cooking right so you can always um, you know season up but you can't always season down right so that's why you know at the end if, if somebody wants more salt they can add more salt you know if it's fine then it's good so lastly right we're gonna pack this thing in and it looks like it's a lot but this thing will you know render down as it cooks in that um, pressure cooker there last ingredients here so got a tablespoon of um sugar there and what i'm using is a, a sugar substitute so if you got somebody that's watching their, their sugar intake they can also use a, a sugar substitute but you can also use a tablespoon of sugar and then here you got that apple cider vinegar now i know that looks like a lot of greens in the pot however these greens will weather down so you know you can fill it to the brim then those, those greens will wither down for you and you'll be in the game. So we're gonna get these things going. Again, 30 minutes, put this lid on here. And we're gonna see how they come out, man. All right, so we released all the steam and all that pressure's going off of it. So we can go ahead and open this bad boy up. Look at that. Woo. And they smell good, man. They smell absolutely delicious. 
And look at that, you see that right there? That's that pot liquor right there. So go get out a stir and you know, you got your turkey necks in there, we'll fork that in there. So when you get, you know, a bite full, you got some turkey necks up in there with that collard greens, but it smells fantastic, man. So we'll come back, man, get this thing plated up, give it a taste test, man, see how Right, so there you have it collard greens in 30 minutes so if you like me always on the run you got a lot of stuff to do hey man you in the game with us so this holiday season man we're gonna be doing some quick recipes you know we're gonna take the traditional recipes make them easy quick so you in the game and without sacrificing any flavor man we you see that look at that right there so you know I'm gonna give a little taste see what's up but let's get, get a little taste. And that's good, man. That's delicious. Hey, if you're new to this channel, smash that subscribe button. And you've been riding with me for a while, you already know what I'm about to do, man. I'm about to smash into these collard greens, man. And we'll see you guys later.